Hello Internet, today is Friday, October 16th, and we are just over two weeks away from Halloween. So we're to the point now when many of you are going to the store, you're making the all-important decision about what kind of candy are you going to purchase to hand out on Halloween. Now this is a big, big decision. Your reputation in your neighborhood is at stake. Uh, the fact on whether you wake up the next morning and your house is toilet papered, that could happen. Bags of flaming dog poo could happen on your doorstep if you make the wrong decision. Uh, there's a lot riding on this. So I thought, who better to help you make the candy decision than a 35 year old overweight guy who has probably eaten more candy than most of you. So what I have done is I have made the definitive list of Halloween candy. And it's actually pretty simple. You can divide it into three categories. There's the king level, there's the prince level, and there's the pauper level. We are gonna start at the very bottom. This is the basement of the candy world. This is the pauper level. This includes things like Smarties, any kind of licorice, even Twizzlers. Licorice is disgusting. Everybody knows that. If you, it's disgusting, don't buy it. Um, any homemade candy treats fall in this level, not because they're not good, it's just because we know you're trying to poison children, right? Like if you're at home making popcorn balls, Clearly you're trying to kill kids. That's what it has come to these days. Um, you know, so those kind of things. Tootsie Rolls, it looks like poop. Don't give it out, please. Candy corns, those things are disgusting. Uh, double bubble, if you ever tried to chew a double bubble? No, nobody can. So that is the pauper level candy. It's kind of the, the budget, the value. Um, if you're thinking about giving that stuff off, you know what, like do us a favor, just turn the light off outside your house and just pretend you're not there. It's actually better that you don't give that candy out um, than you do give it out. The next level is the Prince level candy. This is where most candy falls that you get on, on Halloween. Um, these are all the fun size versions of all of the candies we love. The Snickers, the Kit Kats, the Whoppers, most chocolate candies, let's be honest. Um, Reese's peanut butter cups, the fun size fit in there as well. The Reese's pumpkins fit in there, those are delicious. Um, this is a completely acceptable level of candy. The Prince level candy, completely acceptable to give away to kids on Halloween. The third level and the final level is the king level. This is the, this is the absolute, uh, the peak of the candy world on Halloween. And this is the full size candy bar. It does not matter what kind of a neighbor you are throughout the rest of the year. You could be the jerk of the neighborhood. On October 31st, if you are giving out full size candy bars, you win. Like your community council president, you are like, the kids will tell stories about you and write folk songs about you because you are giving out full size candy bars. 100% worth the investment. Now there is kind of one little asterisk on Halloween candy. And that's if you're giving out any kind of religious material, tract, or invitation to your church. Here's what I'll say. That is only acceptable if combined with the king size level candy bar. If you give me a Smarty and an invitation to your church, there is no way I'm coming to your church. If you give me an invitation to your church and it's attached to like five Snickers and a Reese's peanut butter cup pack, I might actually give money at your church. Like I'm probably going to show up. So no religious material unless attached to the king size level candy. That's how it works. That's just the hierarchy of Halloween. Um, so there you go, hop on hashtags. This is a helpful video. So when you go to the store, you can say, you know what? I don't want the kids to put flaming poop. So I'm not gonna buy Dum Dums. I'm not gonna buy Smarties. I'm not gonna make candy balls and try to kill children with needles and blades. Um, I'm gonna buy the full size candy bar. It's that simple.